All right, Miranda Pumpkin Patch and Farm Festival. We're a, we're a day later than we expected. Yeah, we'll catch them up in a little bit. So yeah, we were hoping to do this uh, after the zoo when the boys woke up from the nap, but the zoo really wore them out. And as you'll see in this video, there's a lot to do at this pumpkin patch. So we wanted the boys to come and enjoy the day when they're 100%. So we let the boys rest and this is the day after. It's about an hour drive and here we are. Oh my. $20 per, but it's, it's all inclusive in there, so. Every year they do something different. Something different, yeah. Animals and yeah. <laughs> Here, <laughs> you made up your mind, huh? All right. This is cute. When I get older, we will, baby. We have all night to be here. That type of setup isn't that difficult. Well, that's what I was going to say. Playground, tractor, there's a giant bounce house over there, and then back there there's a farm, it's gonna be a fun day. As you can see, there's a lot to do here. There's the boats, there's zip lining, there's the typical playground stuff, there's farm animals, there's a hayride. It, it's a lot of things. So I did mention that this is $20 to get in, which is kind of a lot, but if you factor in that you can do pretty much all these things for free, not that bad of a deal. Very cool! You did! Popcorn! You want some popcorn? Jump down! Yay. Getting ready to go to the boat? At that. Uh -uh. How did a kid touch it again? Too. You can go again if you, you want to. You can go if you want to. James want to go? I Jean, think he's okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think so. Look, look at him go. Are y'all ready for some dinner? French fries. Yep. So did all that and the boys look exhausted. Let's feed him and then there's a whole, whole different section there so. Let's feed him and head over there. Not a bad price. Loaded nachos, two Powerades, a kid's chicken tenders, french fries, hamburger, french fries, and pulled pork. All four, 32 bucks.
done with dinner. Boys are happy. Let's go for round two. There's animals there. Some excavators. I'm hoping we can go to the country store. I want to do some excavators. Yeah, let's go to the country store. Let's see what they have there. And then we'll go with that side. The shirt? That is cute. It's, it's, it's quiet today. <laughs> That's pretty cute. It's a cute store. Honey sticks. honey sticks. Orange and apple. Apple honey stick. That sounds good. Buy country store. It was quick. Yeah. I just wanted to look. I've been in there several times, so it's not. Yes. Let's go. Let's go over there. Yes, animals don't smell that good. Let's go see what else they have. Looks like there were supposed to be pigs there, but nothing right now. There's ducks back there. I mean, you can try, but, you know, Chicken. And ducks. Okay, it's a chicken. Oh. Chicken sometimes pick. It says, chickens are the closest living relative to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> no, he got scared. Alpacas. This one doesn't have a slidey up peak. Oh, look. What is work? this? I don't know if it's getting loved on. Right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. They're pretty, though, huh? Great. They get depressed and don't leave when we take the animals away. Well, tell them thank you for making life working hard. They're not gonna go all the way to that side, Baba. Everybody. So that ended abruptly. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we were we did all the fun, the excavator and the uh, you know track. We did the park. paddle the boats too. I don't know if we filmed that. Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. I think okay. we did. So yeah, we did. You know, we did a ton of stuff: the paddle boats, the train, all the different rides. We ate. We went to the country store, and then we did the excavator thing. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to finish off with the hayride and the bouncy thing, right? Well, on the hayride... So we get onto the hayride and as we're going to the hayride, we hear like an employee say this is the last ride out because it was dark at this point. Uh, so I'm like, oh, you know, I want to get on there as quickly as possible. So we all load it up and there's several trailers that get pulled by the tractor that takes you out to the field for a pumpkin patch. 
And Christian wanted to sit at the very front, and there was room for us to go up there. I mean, we were one of the very first ones on the trailer. So we started just climbing through the different trailers versus getting off and going correctly to the you know first trailer. We just started climbing through the trailers. And that part was fine. Like, you know, the kids made... And it wasn't... De- that wasn't really dangerous. Like, we did fine. But then on the last one, James was sitting, and the next thing we know, he falls face first into the trail on the trailer floor yeah so the trailer set up where it's the trailer floor the bed of the trailer and then there's seating right so there's like um benches and so we're all sitting on the benches i'm looking this way looking at christian and han i think it's just getting like it was just a normal james's too so we don't worry about them falling at this point but he was sitting and the next thing we know he goes from a sitting position down to the floor of the trailer and Which is about a two foot? Yeah, like, fall. you know, maybe like a table, not a normal bench height, maybe like a table height, you know? So it, was, it wasn't it was that high, but it wasn't like a, you know, short chair either. So and it was to falls, the floor, a hard, um, Which graded, is like a metal, yeah, yeah, graded grade, ground. Yeah, yeah, graded metal ground. And uh, his top teeth pretty much penetrated his bottom lip. And yeah. we were freaking out. This is... Probably the you know aside from Christian surgeries, the worst like Emergency injury we've had. Yeah, injury, with kids. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, well, we pick what? him up and I see his little nose is red, so I'm thinking, oh, he got hurt, you know. So I'm picking up and I'm trying to console him. And another woman comes over. I guess she had witnessed that his fall, so she gives us a, a napkin. She goes, that's gonna control the bleeding. And I'm like, I don't see any bleeding at this point. But then as I look down, sure enough, there's bleeding in his mouth. And so I'm panicking because again, I just thought it was the nose that he had hurt and the nose it was just like red It wasn't um, Scabbed or bleeding or anything like that. But anyways, so we just decided we needed to get off the trailer Yeah, get get off off the trailer um, Forfeit the ride out there obviously because we need to take care of James. So We get off and then we are panicking because you know his teeth went through his lip not terribly, but there was there was you could clearly... see the teeth mark from the outside. Yeah. So you know it. I mean, it must have like barely gone through. Or but like, it went through. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was there. So we're panicking. Yeah. Like, Christian is heartbroken that yeah. he doesn't get to ride. Hay ride. Yeah. All Christian hears about <laughs> is that he had to get off the uh, pumpkin patch ride. Yeah, so we had two two kids crying. One because he didn't get to go on the hay ride, and one yep. because he has a busted lip. So we just decide to forfeit again. We're not filming that because that's obviously a panic right. moment. Right. You know, you don't think to pull out your camera, or we would never well, do let's that. Let's go for yeah. this. <laughs> so, anyways, we run to the car, and I'm thinking we're gonna have to do urgent care. And at this point, it's like 7:30 or so, and we're an hour away from our house. And I'm like, oh my goodness, we're gonna get to urgent care at like 8:30 mm-hmm. and spend hours there. So I'm I'm sitting in the back seat, you know, versus sitting passenger seat, and I'm just monitoring him. I'm checking the bleeding mm-hmm. and stuff, and it seems to have. He, not healed. That's not the right word. It seems to have coagulate. Yeah, right. So, so the bleeding stopped for sure, and we start like you know googling things, trying to figure out you know what do we do, and a lot of the things that we read were like you know unless the outside is gaping and needs surgeries, inside of your lip doesn't need surgeries. Mm-hmm. This is not medical advice. Yeah. yeah, but you know that's what we saw, and amazingly, he about starting. So that happened Sunday, right? And starting like Tuesday or so, he really didn't complain about no. like, his lip at all. Like it healed so the, quickly. The very next day, he was talking about how he was sad he didn't do the hay ride. Mm-hmm. So like it didn't affect him. We gave him ibuprofen when he got home. But yeah, that's why there's no hay ride video and no outro, outro at, the, yeah. at, the, at the pumpkin patch. It just patch. ended so abruptly. And you know, both the boys are very sad they didn't get to do the hay ride. Um, so we might have to go back to we, we might go again, but 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 they transformed the place into a Christmas yeah. like a Christmas thing. So we know we're gonna go again for Christmas. It's just a matter of do we spend another ninety bucks and do the you know fall pumpkin patch. Well yeah. let me let me mull over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyways, that was uh, the reason it was cut short. I apologize. I know it just seems really weird that, you know, we're having fun and the next thing is cut to us talking yes. about an injury. But, you know, life happens and having kiddos, some things go wrong and just wanted to update you guys. Yeah. But he's good. He's in the living room playing with Big Brother right now. And Matter of fact, we might go to another pumpkin patch today to get the hay right. So, yeah, we'll see. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.